we're gonna do a short quick video um, but I'm gonna start this video with like uh, a quick quick thing so I'm here with uh, Saranj and Patrick Ponce and uh, we're on our way to slow and steady but first you gotta check this out like there is a Starbucks truck next to a Starbucks and they're both open and for some strange reason people are going to both it's like you know, if you see a tow truck towing a tow truck, uh, what well, was the purpose? What is the purpose? There's a Starbucks, and then there's another Starbucks. What? So, uh, once we hit the road again, I'm gonna show you a really cool video. So, on my stream, I noticed some some people liked the life advice. I'm gonna give you some of the really, some of the most useful life advice I can give. And if you can, if you can, like. I'm gonna have it in the background in the lock. If you can listen and learn from my mistakes, you're gonna live a better life than me. I'm gonna teach you everything I've learned about dating girls. I'm gonna tell I'm gonna teach you the right, the wrong way, and things to avoid. So um, once we get back in the car, I'll start talking about that. It's on video, right? Yeah. Alright, start it. Yeah. No started. cuts, no edits. So um, we're back in the car. Me, Patrick Ponce, and Saranj. And we're headed to slow and steady now. I think I said that in my last video clip, but I just said it again to make sure. <sighs> okay, so I'm gonna tell you about girls. And I'm gonna tell you all the tips and tricks and secrets. So I'm 25 years old, which is really old, but I'm young enough that I can like still understand these millennial stuff like Snapchat and things. <laughs> um, get off my lawn, you kids. <laughs> so, I have made, I've been dating girls since I was 16, and I've made a lot of mostly horrifying mistakes, a lot of cringe, a lot of awkward, I'm going to help you. I'm going to teach you everything. So uh, first dates, um, I'm, this is just completely off, off my head, no script, nothing. First dates, when you take a girl to a first date, never ever take her to the movies. You might say, well, but uh, everyone does that. If you're a girl and a guy takes you on a date, how many times do you think they've taken you to the movies? You're sitting there for two to three hours, completely passive. What you need to do on a first date is make first impressions, because those are the most important ones. And if you're passively sitting for two to three hours, that's time you're wasting when you should be doing engaging stuff. So when you're doing a first date with a girl, you need to work on engaging her, doing things that really get stuff done. So, like, just mostly just talking but really ask the important stuff like interests and what they're really like um, and while we're on the topic of engaging stuff um, one of the best ways to see if you or another person are gonna work out is like things that need teamwork so riding tandem bicycles kayaking things that rely things where you need to rely on another person because when you're in that teamwork situation if you mesh together really well Afterwards, you're gonna get this great feeling like, oh, we, we're getting along so well, and it's gonna get you there faster. But if ultimately your personalities clash, and you get into a situation where you're forced to work together, and you get that clash out of the way really soon, at the end of the day, you'll be like, oh, we really don't get along together. And this event has taught us that in a really quick way, so you don't really waste time. The next thing I'm gonna tell you about I'll save that until later. So I'm going to tell you about um, some of you young kids, you young guys, I see this on the internet and I just cringe. You like the girl too much. Like, don't ever do anything too much. So you should be somewhat emotionally available, but don't always be up in the girl's business. Like, every person has to have their own personal space. And when you get too much into that girl's personal space, like, dude, I know you like her. But you're gonna you're gonna end up doing the opposite. You're gonna end up pushing her away. So like her, but just don't overdo it. Girls hate it when you overdo stuff. Um, what else is that? Girls like self-confidence, but not self-importance. So um, one of the good ways to get self-confidence is to play a sport, hit the gym, and be healthy. But once again, just don't don't overdo it. Um, I know some guys like don't always hit up the girl give her some space have like only like if you have important or cool things to say or like you want to start a conversation but just don't be like hey babe and then 
just have short conversations and short words because time is precious and time's important. Like you don't want to waste the girl's time. That was the that was the GPS. We're we're going on the Jersey Turnpike right now. So okay, the next point. Kissing the girl. So if you mess this up, you're basically screwed. The first kiss is like one of the most important things. And the trick is you're not supposed to ask for it. That's gonna ruin the mood. But don't like be all creepy and force it on her. You have to understand the vibe. You have to know the mood. So like, once you start to know the girl, like around the second or the third date, you understand her. And if you're really vibing, you'll know. And you have to like, with girls first impressions is everything. And you just have to go for it at the right moment. And that goes into the next point. When you are taking girls on the date, you never, ever, ever, one of the most forbidden things is ask, well, what do you want to do? If you ever say that, you, you just shut up immediately. You have to have a plan and you have to take things into control because you are the one controlling these things. You have to show her the good time. If she's figuring all these things out, well, that's not as enjoyable as you're doing it. Your, your objective is to wow the girl. So choose engaging activities. One of the activities I've found to be really good is to take a girl to a shooting range. And you might think, oh, guns, that's not feminine. No, you have to treat them like people, and guns are fun. And <laughs> I'm, I'm super serious. Like, guns are fun, Yeah, kids. like she kids. might think that they're all violent, but the, the shooting range is a safe place to go and the minute she pulls that trigger, she'd be like, oh, that was fun. Let's do it again. Hey, Chris, but... Well, yeah? Can teenage Continue boys get into Jersey shooting ranges? Oh, I guess not. Once you're 18. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, but another thing is, shooting ranges is an engaging activity where you have to, like, talk to each other, do things. Like, you're actually engaging in an activity. And once you come out, you're like, wow, that was a lot of fun. And then depending on what you do, that'll be like one to two hours where you're just having fun shooting guns. Wait, what about bowling? Bowling is fun too, <laughs> but uh, some people, their wrists get tired. Bowling is fun, just engaging activities. Movies aren't engaging and you really gotta, but after you take her out on the second or third date, then you can like start to relax. You, you don't have to worry so, about, so much about engaging because you've already made your first impression. So once you get to the second or third, then you start doing random stuff. So once you get to this phase, one of the things I like to do is just say, hey, you free this weekend? And then just grab her by the hand and just like, she'll ask, oh, where are we going? I don't know, let's have an adventure. But like you, you have some idea where you're going, you just go somewhere random, have fun, pick out places, and have like a little bit of money saved up where you can just, any restaurant, any activity. How many turns is that? Turn bikes off. Okay, sorry. I'm just gonna keep going straight and hope that uh, I'll hear the next alert. But um, oh sometimes it's good to be spontaneous. Some women like spontaneity. So just go out and be spontaneous. Um, so once you actually have her as a girlfriend, I have no advice whatsoever. Uh, I'm totally lost on that part. <laughs> but, but to get to that first stage, all you need to do is have self-confidence, have a plan, show her a good time, engage her. Uh, don't be too awkward, like don't be up in her business, don't be always calling her and messaging her. Give her some space and like treat her like another person. So like, just because they're girls don't mean they don't like guns. Uh, <laughs> that's pretty much it, that's Humphrey's Guide. <laughs> that should be the title of the video. Just because they're girls they don't like guns. <laughs> We suddenly remembered something on our car trip. So last time me and Patrick were on a trip, we were going to Rockville and we had Blake Thompson with us and like the competition was going to be canceled and we, we had this list of things we wanted to do. So like low key we were hoping it would cancel but how's it go again? Patrick you say it. Oh, we were going to go indoor skydiving but instead we got our results deleted. <laughs> we got our results deleted. <laughs>